clave sticks on her? Mm -hmm. Excellent question, and uh, I'll ask all of you to join me. We can uh, do something together so you can understand it. <laughs> <laughs> so who here dances on what? Don't be shy. <laughs> right, let me rephrase. Who prefers to dance on what? Okay. Who prefers to dance salsa on two? So that means the other two styles that I'm going to say, I'm going to see a lot more hands. So who here, who here prefers to dance palladium on two? Carmen, I'm waiting for you to raise your hand. Who here prefers to dance in club? So you, uh, you may not remember, but uh, palladium on two is... Uh, is the basic structure and fundamental, which is based on the clave. If you saw what I wrote at the bottom, the clave, two, three clave, mm -hmm. what beat does it start on? Two. 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 On the two, and when does it end? Eight. On the eight. If you have a three, two clave, when does that begin? One. One. When does it end? Seven. Six and a half. Seven. It, ends on, it ends on the seven. Seven. All right? How to determine the clave in the music? What other instrument do you think Bass. If you listen to the bass, you have to listen. Does it strike on the one? If it strikes on the one, then what clave is it? Three, two, clave. If it strikes on the eight, dominantly or predominantly, what clave is it? It's a two-three clave. So if you join me in an experiment, or not an experiment, in a uh, demonstration here, if you join me, snap on one, clap on two, Snap three, four, five, six. <laughs> 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 it goes like this. Join me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Somebody count me. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm going to do a three, two, love it, and we will not cross paths once. Keep going. Six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm not clapping with you, right? Yeah. But now I'm going to do a two, three clap. And continue, continue going. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Now this is a two, three clap. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's what the bass is going to do. It's going to strike on the one. And if we're not on the same beat, then you know it's not a two, three, or a three, two clave. So again, if the bass strikes predominantly on the one, what clave is it? If it strikes predominantly on the eight, what clave is it? You have to locate it. You have to, you have to recognize it. You have to figure out what it's doing without the interference and the points of congruence of all the other instruments. Now you have to isolate it. You have to find it. And so part of what you have to do is learn to listen. That's the first thing that we have to figure out is learn to listen. I guess musicians say if you can hear it, you can play it. We have to be able to open up the ear and find it. And we, we, we don't do a lot of that. We walk around, we don't listen. We, we yeah. hear things, but we don't listen. <laughs> it's fine. I, I'm, I'm having a fabulous time right now. <laughs> I don't even believe this is going to happen. So, what I'm thinking from all this is if you can't count, you shit out of luck. <laughs>